I'm Matt Bennett here. It's Sunday, March 12th, day 28 of the fast. It's been four weeks. Thank you for joining with me and joining with others to see God change the course of this nation based on our prayers. Some people say prayer doesn't change God, it changes me. Don't believe it. It is not true. Sure, he does change us too, but it changes God. It changes what he'll do. There's this amazing account in Genesis 18 when Abraham bargains with God over what he'll do in the city of Sodom. I'm going to read a couple of passages, a couple of verses here. It says, uh, Genesis 18, 22. So the men turned from there and went towards Sodom, but Abraham still stood before the Lord. Then Abraham drew near and said, Will you indeed sweep away the righteous with the wicked? Suppose there are 50 righteous within the city. Will you then sweep away the place and not spare it for the 50 righteous who are in it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to put the righteous to death with the wicked. And the Lord relents. Um, if you know the passage, they go back and forth. It gets down to 10. Abraham talks God into sparing the city if there are only 10 righteous people in the city. Now, unfortunately, they were still destroyed because there wasn't even that. But it's amazing that God changed what he was going to do based on Abraham's favor with them. It is the exact same today. Elijah it was a man just like us. The Lord hears our prayers as we draw near to him. As you put your request before him, he does things that he otherwise would not do. Thank you for fasting and humbling yourselves and praying for God to change this nation, that he will deliver us, that many, many will come to faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.